Mind Tools is now 25. For a quarter of a century, our resources have helped millions of people across the globe to be more successful in their careers and happier in their lives as a whole. As part of the 25th birthday celebrations this year, we're delighted to bring together the co-founders of Mind Tools, James Manktelow and Rachel Thompson Manktelow, and our current CEO, John Yates, to talk about Mind Tools and the e-learning industry, past, present and future. We're now part of the Emerald Publishing Group, and through Emerald Works, we continue to take Mind Tools resources to new people and organisations around the world. We're also adding to the products and services we offer, and there are big plans for the future. But where did it all begin? How did Mind Tools develop into the trusted brand it is today? And what might be in store during the next part of the Mind Tools story? So a very warm welcome to James Manktelow and Rachel Thompson, who can take us back to the beginning of Mind Tools back in 1996. And also to John Yates, our CEO at Emerald Works, who's responsible for taking Mind Tools on the next stage of its journey. So I suppose, first of all, we should say we haven't got a cake, sadly, but happy birthday. It's 20, 25th birthday celebrations. So to all of you, how does that feel to be celebrating this significant milestone for Mind Tools? Maybe we should start with you, James, as you were there on the first day. How does it feel to be at 25 now for Mind Tools? Fantastic and very uh, scary that it's 25 years on. Um, uh, it feels like yesterday. And uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, I'm now looking at my grey hairs and I'm thinking that's where the grey <laughs> I don't mean that, but uh, <laughs> yes. What about you, Rachel? How does it feel to be marking the 25th birthday of Mind Tools? Yeah, no, it's really, it's really nice to, to be able to celebrate that and come back to Mind Tools. We haven't we, you know, it's two years since we we um, left the business, and it's really nice to be able to come back and sort of reflect on it together and think about the future, what the future holds now. Yeah, we're delighted to have you back. And what about you, John? How do your feelings compare with those as we celebrate Mind Tools at twenty five? It's just it's just lovely to to be in a position to celebrate with with Mind Tools founding team. It really is. I'm in a, in a really privileged position to be in this discussion today. Twenty five years is a really wonderful achievement. So. Uh, really looking forward to this conversation and, and proud to be uh, to be in the presence of James and Rachel to celebrate the event. Yeah, and no cake sadly, but maybe at some point we'll get into the same room together and share a cake. That would be very nice. But it's nice to have this uh, virtual gathering for the Michael's birthday. So let, let's go back to the start then, to the very beginning. And for James and Rachel, where does Mindful start? So Mind Tools came out of my first career, first career uh, which was um, a, in a fintech where I started in 1989 straight from Bristol University, where I think, uh, John, we, we crossed over uh, possibly. I'm not sure we met there, but uh, at the same place. Uh, and over the next um, 10, 15 years, I sort of worked my way from being a trainee developer up to the board, first of all, as production director and marketing director. 99, 2000, um, I did the MBA at London Business School. That's where I met Rachel. Um, Mind Tools started because uh, in 1996, I just run across this wonderful th new thing, which was only 12 months old, which was the World Wide Web. Um, <laughs> at the same time that I was learning to be a manager, uh, and at that time, um, there was very little around on how to do that. It was sort of like scattered articles here or the odd sort of slightly strange book there. Um, and there was no sort of coherent central resource. So I started blogging about the skills I was learning then. Um, and that essentially was the start of it all. Blogs didn't exist until a few years later, but that's the way of thinking about it. Um, so it then fast forwards to about 2003, when a million people a year were coming through the blog. And you sort of think that, well, that's a fantastic audience. We should do something with that. And that's when Rachel and I um, set up Mind Tools as a limited company um, and got everything sort of going. Um, first six months were very much about the sort of behind the scenes, uh, setting everything up, uh, writing the sort of core articles the, and the core resources. Um, setting the tech up and I have this very strong uh, memory, this very good memory of the, the night that Mindtools launched uh, was in the roof of our house in Wimbledon Park um, and uh, sitting there with everything ready to go, opening a <laughs> bottle of champagne and then Rachel <laughs> clicking the mouse button to uh, start the upload 
Uh, and we then uh, got back into the, the, the room in the roof the next morning to see the first 20 sales, which was when <laughs> the business, if you like, came yeah. alive as a business. 